this next activity is on functions and basically a function is a reserved word that has a formula associated with it. So we're going to look at five different types of functions today and they are of sum, average, maximum, minimum and count. Okay, and we're going to apply these five functions to five numbers that are entered here by me as the user. You may see that I've already entered all my labels into my spreadsheet and formatted it okay, with color to make the spreadsheet meaningful and look appealing. Now I'm going to start entering my first function which is the sum function and the sum function pretty much is the same as it's seen here on the screen. I press equals as with every other formula and then I'm going to type in the word sum. Okay, open brackets and then enter in the cell range and the cell range in this case is B2 and then dot dot to B6. Okay, and you can see the blue square has highlighted that area. Now, I don't need to close the bracket. I can just press enter. Okay, and then the formula is working. Okay, now this actual function by me entering in the cell range in conjunction with it saves me a lot of time. Originally for me to do that formula, I would have to put in cell B2 plus cell B3 plus cell B4 plus cell B5 plus cell B6 in order to do the same formula. So it's basically shrunk the formula drastically for me. And let's say it wasn't five cells, but it was actually a hundred cells. It saves me a lot of time typing. Okay, let's try now the next uh, function, which is average. And for this formula, it's equals average, open brackets. And in this case, I'm just going to click and drag over the cell range and press enter. Okay, now it's saying divide by zero as an error. And that's because there's no values entered there and you can't divide by zero. And that's why there's an error there. So it's waiting for me to put in my values. For the maximum formula, it's equals just MAX, open brackets, select the cell range. And it's going to highlight what the highest value is in that cell range. And the minimum formula will do the opposite. It's going to highlight the lowest value in this cell range. And finally, the count formula equals count is going to tell me how many values have been entered into this cell range. Okay, so basically five different functions, okay, that are going to all apply to whatever five values are entered here now. So I'm just going to start off by putting in the values one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, and straight away you can see all the functions updated. The total of those five numbers is 15. The average of those five numbers is three. The maximum value is five. The minimum value is one. And the amount of numbers entered is five. Okay, so all those functions are working correctly. That's five simple numbers. Let's make them a bit more difficult now. Let's do 12, 34, 456, 2000, and 52. Okay, so straight away, bang, those functions have all updated there straight away to actually match the new values I've entered instantaneously. So I hope you understand how powerful functions are with use in spreadsheet software. They allow us to enter in complex formulas, but by using the actual reserved word, I don't have to type in every single cell value and add in our symbols and plus and minus and uh, the actual complex formula itself. Instead, I just have to put in a cell range put the word associated with the function such as sum or average or a whole other range of reserved words and it will apply the formula in a simple and as easy for the user as possible. So I hope that makes sense.